Hello everyone, I hope you are enjoying your day and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T and if you are new to watching, I welcome you and I hope you consider subscribing and thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for coming back and for your support. So, we are already in the month of February, which is crazy. This year is already flying by. <laughs> and February is the month of love, and it's also Black History Month. So I'm going to be centering all of my February sewing plans around Valentine's Day and Black History Month. So let's chat about my sewing plans and what I'm going to make. So as stated earlier, everything that I make this month is going to be around the Valentine's Day love theme and Black History Month and I am going to start off my sewing plans with Valentine's Day because that day will be approaching very soon. I plan to make two garments for Valentine's Day. You may want to ask why because of the fact that Valentine's Day is only one day. Well, I'll tell you why. <laughs> I don't like to go to dinner on Valentine's Day because it's very, very busy and the waits here at least are very, very long. So my husband and I, we meet up for lunch um, on Valentine's Day and that's usually because Valentine's Day falls during the week and we are both working. So we have a Valentine's Day lunch and because of that, I like to wear something that's nice and Valentine Day-ish but not too over the top because I'm also wearing whatever I'm wearing to our little lunch date to work. So like I said, I wear something Valentine-ish, but it's scaled down. And so what I am going to make for our little Valentine's Day lunch is going to be one of the new Simplicity Spring patterns, which is Simplicity 9470. I purchased this pattern last week, I think, when Simplicity had their $1.99 sale. Might have been two weeks ago, but either way, I purchased that recently, but I haven't had a chance to upload my haul, so keep a lookout for that because mm -hmm, it's kind of big. But <laughs> anyway, I did purchase this pattern, and the whole top is almost complete. And honestly, by the time this video uploads, it probably will be complete um, because I just started on it and it, you know, it's a top so it doesn't take long to make. But again, I am making Simplicity 7470 and I'm going to be making View A, which is what the model is wearing, but with longer sleeves. And I'm going to make it out of this reddish burgundy crepe back satin that I showed on my latest fabric haul. And here is the fabric right here and like I said I, I've already started working on it and that's why I'm showing you like a scrap piece but this is you know going to be cute it is coming along so beautifully and I just can't wait to finish it so I can wear it and tell you all about it So my next Valentine's Day look is for when we do go out to dinner. My husband and I follow our Valentine's Day lunch with a Valentine's Day dinner on the weekend that follows Valentine's Day because it's usually less chaotic unless you go eat dinner in Chicago where everyone else seems to have the same idea as me. <laughs> anyway. That is when I dress up and the way that I would prefer to look. And I'm going to make a dress for our dinner. And I'm going to use Vogue 9344. I came across this in the pattern drawers at Joann's one day when they were having a Vogue sale. And I was just rambling through because I was visiting a store that is not near my home. So I just wanted to see what they have. And they had this pattern and I just had to have it I like oh my goodness I hadn't seen that pattern before so I picked it up it's a simple look but look at the sleeves oh my goodness look at those sleeves so that is the main reason why I picked that up and I'm getting ready to make that for my Valentine's Day dress <laughs> the fabric that I am going to use to make this is what is going to set this whole entire look off in my opinion minus the sleeves so the sleeves combined with the fabric is going to be five year I am going to use this beautiful pink 
Ankara print fabric to make this dress. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm drilling already. <laughs> I think this dress is like going to be super, super fabulous and I'm excited to get this made. Okay, so now that we have discussed the plans for my Valentine's Day looks, let's talk about what I have planned for Black History Month. So as most sewists already know, every year for the last four years, I believe, Natita of So Natural Dane hosts the Black History Month Pattern Designers Challenge. And the Black History Pattern Designers Challenge is a challenge for those who sew, quilt, crochet, or anything of that nature to make something that was designed by a black pattern designer or either purchase fabric from a black owned pattern or yarn store and the challenge is going on throughout the whole entire month of february and all you have to do is construct a garment between february 1st through the 28th which is the last day of the month and you also need to post it on instagram during those dates uh, you must use a pattern from a black pattern designer and that includes independent patterns the big four pattern books classes knitting crochet bag making quilt and vintage patterns so all of the above when it comes to patterns and you must also tag natita at so natural dame on instagram and use the hashtag bhm pattern designers in order for your entry to be counted to win a prize and also for her to be able to see your make so that she can include your make in the collage video that she makes at the end of the challenge every year so there are 15 sponsors for this challenge and it's nice to see all of the great support so now i am going to share with you what I plan to make. So last year I was only able to make one garment for this challenge because my baby was still little and I didn't get around to the sewing machine as much but for this year that is not going to be the case lord willing. <laughs> I have several garments picked out to make and I actually had to narrow when I wanted to make down because of the Valentine's Day looks that I wanted to add in but what I ended up deciding on is as follows. So for my first BHM look, I plan to make the Suzanne top. This top was designed by Erin of Style So Me Patterns and this is actually a free PDF pattern. I am subscribed to Erin's email list and one day back in the fall, I believe, an email came through to alert uh, everyone that's on her um, email subscribers list of this pattern. The story behind the design of the top is so heartwarming and I'm not going to tell the whole story because if you want the pattern, I think you should just read it for yourself. So I'm going to make one to give more exposure to that top. So that's why i'm gonna make that top and i'm also gonna make it because i just love aaron's patterns and i want to make sure that she's highlighted so the fabric that i am going to use i already cut it out is this houndstooth fabric right here and you're looking at scraps because like i said i've cut it out so this fabric is a hundred percent cotton i've had it in my stash for a while for a different top that i want to make I hope <laughs> this fabric is still in stock from where I purchased it from because I purchased it a while ago because I still want to make the other top. But I thought that this would be a cute option for how I'm trying to showcase the top. So for my next BHM plan, I am going to make McCall 7580. This pattern is designed by Beauty Jador and I am going to make both view A, which is the top, and view B, which is the pants. I have been having this pattern in my stash since I started sewing because I absolutely love the sleeves. So that's one reason why I wanna make this top. And I also love yellow and I wanted to make the top in yellow, but I couldn't find any yellow fabric that I felt like would fit 
with this top anywhere but I didn't want to settle with going with a different color so I went to Walmart and I just you know I can't help but to look at the fabric when I go to Walmart even though I don't need anything but I'm glad I did because when I went past the fabric I came across some pre-cut cotton canvas fabric and it look let me show you right here I already cut this pattern out too but look perfect so in my basket it went <laughs> so yes I am going to use this yellow canvas fabric to make this top and I hope it turns out okay but if nothing else it would help to keep the structure of the many many pleats that are involved in this make because there are so many pleats that have to be made within this uh, top and with this being a cotton canvas you'll definitely be able to see it because it's not going to just like disappear and fold in so that's the plan for the yellow top Now for view B, which are the pans for this pattern, and it's also going to be the third look for this challenge, I decided to make these because I don't have any black slacks that fit in my wardrobe and who doesn't need a pair of black slacks, right? I mean like, yeah. So when I first purchased this pattern, I didn't even realize that the pants were part of the pattern. I just thought she had them on to showcase the top because I was so focused on the top. But when I was making my decision on what to make for this challenge, I noticed the pants. So with that being said, I picked up this black cotton sateen during my last fabric haul specifically to make these pants. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so moving on to the next look. I am going to make the Nikki Blazer by Erin of Style So Me Patterns. So we're back to Erin. I have had my eye on this blazer for a very, very long time and I'm finally going to make it. <laughs> I think the reason why I had not done it before is because there are a lot of pattern pieces to the pattern and the form that I have the pattern in is PDF and we all know I don't really like to deal with taping and cutting but I set it up and I printed everything out and I taped it all together and I actually cut the pattern pieces out so it's gonna be done <laughs> because I really love the look of this pattern and although I don't like a lot of pattern pieces I do know that the more pattern pieces you have the more of a tailored look that you're gonna have it's gonna make your garments look more professional and more expensive so I'm excited to get this made and I will so yeah I plan to use this blue cotton twill that I purchased from my most recent pattern haul as well <laughs> seriously y'all if you have not watched that haul you should <laughs> I purchased 19 new fabrics and yeah I digress but anyway I purchased this royal blue cotton stretch twill to make this blazer because I thought it would be super super dope okay just look how beautiful and bright and blue it is and I think it looks nice up against my complexion so I really really want to get this made so yes this is going to be amazing I already know it because I looked the Nikki blazer up on Instagram and a lot of people have made this and it looks amazing on everyone so get ready for my Nikki <laughs> So for the next plan, I plan to make a tote bag out of my African American fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics during my most recent fabric haul. And I'm going to make this tote bag by using Simplicity 9298. And I am going to make either view C or view B. I'm not really sure. I haven't decided yet. And I also have not decided on which fabrics I want to use out of the collection that I purchased from that massive fabric haul. Uh, so I would just enter 
a photo of the fabrics from that collection of the African American fabrics so you can just see what they are. And if you want to, just leave me a comment in the comment section below and, and suggest which one you think I should use. So that is it for my plans, my February sewing plans, several different items, I believe if I'm counting right, with my cap being two plans per month. I think I really outdid myself <laughs> as far as plans are concerned, but I will say it's for a good cause, so I'm okay with it as long as I don't do this every month. <laughs> But I hope you like this video and my plans for both Valentine's Day and Black History Month for the Black History Patterns Designer Challenge. If you did, please take a pause for the calls and click the like button and also click the subscribe button and the gray notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload future videos and let me know what you think about my plans in the comments below let me know your thoughts I love chatting with you all thank you so much for watching and thank you to all my new and returning subscribers for your support and I will see you in the next video bye